fake. Yeah, I'm fake up, man. We we drawing it. Next reaction with them two. Jump into your your Discord is Donkey Boys Eyes. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yo, Lucky, see if you can add him while I'm streaming. But listen, listen. Next reaction we got is the B Love featuring Cash Cobain. All alone. Y'all remember I had the take of Sexy Joe becoming a mainstream genre and Cash Cobain becoming a mainstream household name as time goes on? That Don Tolliver track has dropped I told y'all about. The Tizo Touchdown Cash Cobain produced track has dropped that I told y'all about. Niggas are getting on this Sexy Joe wave chat. J. Cole was on it. I'm telling you, niggas getting on Sexy Joe wave. And as you can see, B-Love is on that wave as well. And I'm glad he was on that wave, cause B Love has tracks a lot. He has a lot of tracks for the shorties, but My Everything, Exhausted, and like a whole bunch of other tracks as well. You feel what I'm saying? B Love is probably the most mainstream Bronx drill artist from the new generation of Bronx drill. I don't know if that's a bad take or if that's a hot take or if that's a good take, but B Love is probably the most mainstream with his video production quality. How he incorporates a lot of samples and singer singers into his drill music as well. How he talks about he has tracks for the women. How he has tracks about his feelings, and he has the high energy party drill tracks that are very accessible to everybody. He's dropping on day and night Kid Cudi samples. You could play that in the clubs. You could play that at functions and things of that nature. You feel what I'm saying? The white people jack that. Every race will jack that due to that sample and how he's flowing in that beat. That's good energy. You feel what I'm saying? They don't care too much about the lyrics and none of that. You feel what I'm saying? And B-Love has a good flow as well. So for him to hop on his sexy drill wave, I'm not going to lie. That was a good move. That's a good move because that's good for the shorties. That's good for the towns. This is what's hot right now. The sexy drill wave Sexy drill wave is what's hot right now. That's why Ice Spice hopped on it. With that being said, let's jump straight into this new B-Love. Let's see what he's going to say. And I feel like Cash Cobain might carry him just because Cash is more used to rapping on these type of beats. Like, look at this video production. Look at it. He's not, he's not on the block shooting the KJ shot. No disrespect to KJ, but I'm just saying, like, he's not on the block rapping in front of the neighborhood deli while somebody's don't shooting a running gun music video. He's really planning this shit up. Oh, that was it? Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, see, see? Okay. I've been lonely, I'm trying to get you to come over. I'm trying to get you to come over. I don't care where we at, let's get right on the sofa. Let's get right on the sofa. I'm like Grace Mill, girl, I'm just trying to get closer. Girl, I'm just trying to get closer. And then feel with it on me, girl, I'm not a loafer. Keep it on me, girl, I'm not a loafer. I've been lonely, like baby, come here. Come here. Let me whisper something in your ear. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you why I always stare. Yeah, yeah. If she said she wanted, I'm like, here. Yeah. I'm a lover, boy, I'm not a sucker. I keep it P, I yeah. hope I made it clear. Yeah. She a baddie and she with a friend. Yeah. Both look good, so I never compare. Yeah. Slide out. I can hear this on the radio, and I think I can I can hear this in the clubs, Jack. I can hear this on the radio, and I can hear this on the clubs. I think he flowed on this very well, and he's only catering to the women with these lyrics. Like he's talking about the shorties on this. Okay, okay, yeah. He made the right decision. We see the ops and we stay trying to rock out. How they gon' hide and we ride like they hot out. I'm doing it good, should I baby time out? I see why they. She want me to cuff right after I hit it. I see why you. Oh, you want me to hold you? Know what I That's told Sable Tunnel. You know Trapped up when I'm by myself. I'm still never. Damn. Don't stop. stop. Keep going. Keep going. What else? I never love you when I'm in the club of my polling. What else? I would have thought he her pussy wetter than a polling. What else? And if I see an album, I'm shoot my shot like it's open. And I'm fully focused. I just hope you notice. Baby girl, you got that flower ball. So I'll call you Lotus. That was a tough line, the flower bomb, lotus flower bomb. Yo, what's good, what's good, K? You don't do late night streams? I'm doing late night streams right now due to the soul fact. What's good, Zimi? I'm doing late night streams to the soul fact of it's summer, so I'll, I'll just be sparking at any time, bro. Join the Discord to be notified when I go live or just hit the notification button to be notified. You feel what I'm saying? Join the Discord for other things as well. We got a lot to over over there, but listen. This is going to be played on the radio a lot. Because it's B-Love and it's a hot artist like Cash Cobain hopping on the track. B-Love was super hot back when he was the face of the Bronx with If You Know You Know, all the K-Flock tracks. Uh, uh, she, I can notice you want me to spank it. Bad little bitch now. You feel what I'm saying? He was super hot during that time. He still, you know what I'm saying, got a lot of traction. He's he's now a stamped name in Bronx drill. But B-Love is not as hot as he once be, was due to the quality of music. One, becoming more accessible for outside fans. 
Two, him not dropping consistently, but he's back dropping consistently now. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of his newer drops are more like catered for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Like this is a more accessible listening track. The song with Zoe Spencer was in the video. That's more accessible drill. It's not the typical, you know, B love hood nigga drill that he was dropping before he fully made it. You feel what I'm saying? I like the fact that Cash Cobain, niggas like Cash Cobain so much to the point where he doesn't have to do a lot on the track. He doesn't have to say good lyrics or crazy bars, things of that nature. He just has to give y'all a good vibe, something I can vibe to, and just talk to the shorty so that they can really feel what he's saying. You feel what I'm saying? As long as he's giving a good vibe, niggas is going to jack it. Good vibe and good flow. Feel me? What? Wetter than the ocean. That pussy cute just like lotion. Creamy like lotion, y'all see, see that blood on this table. I see why you. Oh, you want me to hold you? Know what I told you? See why you? Trapped up when I by myself, I'm still never. Hey, deal. Mm, okay. I see why they. She want me to cuff her right after I hit her. I see why you. Oh, you want me to hold you? Know what I told you? See why you? Trapped up when I by myself, I'm still never. Oh, that's crazy. So the plot of the video, by the way, let me know what y'all rate this out of 10 chat and down below in the comments. The plot of the video is he was on the block with Cash Cobain, seen a bad shorty, got the bad shorty's number, linked the bad shorty, slept with the bad shorty, proceeded to leave the crib of the bad shorty and go to the club to post on IG, which the bad shorty checked. <laughs> And, and the premise of the song is, you wanted me to hold you and be by your side. I see why you're lonely. I see. The things you're asking for is why you're lonely. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Six, he eats the pussy. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of... <laughs> I rate this song like a calm 7.3. Um, I feel like B Love had a good flow. I feel like it was it's a cool track. I don't think this is one of the best sexy drill songs. I don't think this is like a great sexy drill song. I think this is an okay sexy drill song. You feel what I'm saying? I think this is good for replay value with the sample that they use. It's very accessible to hear in like clubs and get radio play, but I don't think this is like moving the needle for the movement because B Love and Cash Cobain made a song. I feel like what moved the needle was the ice. Spice thing, the Don Tolliver thing, the Drake thing, you know, things like that, you know, I think that's what moved the needle. Ka Chow Lee and his solo songs moving the needle, the bass swag tracks, you feel what I'm saying? That moves the needle. R to R Mo, Lonnie Love, uh, Chow Lee and Cash Cobain on one song, that moves the needle in terms of the sexy drill movement. Getting J. Cole to say, Great B. 40,000 times on a song as a 40-year-old man move the needle. I don't think this really does nothing for me, Chad. I'm not going to lie. Drake, I got to stop reading your comments, bro. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I feel like, yeah, this song was cool. I think this is a great move for B-Love in terms of keeping his name more in the zeitgeist and of people actually talking about what he has going on music-wise, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Before B-Love started dropping consistently, a lot of people were saying, oh, B-Love fell off. He's not as good as he used to be. He's not the face of the Bronx no more. Free Lord Flock, because this nigga is not it. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas were saying shit like that. Oh, the uh, Bronx drill died. It's the sweeper's time now. Things of that nature. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like B-Love B -Loves can get back on that type of time. He just needs to start dropping more consistently. All he needs to do is just start dropping more consistently and continue because he can go on a route of making more accessible drill tracks. But I feel like he needs to, you know, get the towns back, if that makes sense. I had the same sentiment with A Boogie and his music. A lot of people was writing him off like, oh, old A Boogie was better. He's not as good as he used to be. But I feel like that last album was fire, child. I feel like that last album was very fire. I just feel like niggas is not tuning into A Boogie like they used to back in the day. Yeah, that's, that's how I 